this is the latest addition to the clinic, which is a ramp from the road directly into the clinic. And it also serves uh, to protect the patients as they wait because it protects them from the rain, and it rains most of the time in the village. Uh, it, this is a huge addition but because before, right over there, they had to go up a very narrow staircase, and that's where we took 800 pound dental machines up a narrow staircase. <laughs> Welcome to the Father Andreas Clinic. This is the patient bathroom, and in the patient bathroom there's a toilet, a sink, and also a shower. So in case the patient is contaminated in some way, they can take a shower before they see the doctor. This is the area where the patients register and they pay a fee that was determined by the village elders, and that fee is equivalent to about $3 for a complete examination plus medicine, which is very, very reasonable compared to a bus ride to Mexico and having to pay all the hospital fees, so it's a significant savings for the villagers. After the patients register and pay their small fee, they wait here for the screening process, which is done in another room right down the hall. This is the screening room and the office for the clinic. This is where the patients will receive screening, blood pressure, blood glucose readings. The records are began right here. Once they have the record, then they come out and queue for the doctor. Okay, this is one of our three medical exam rooms. They're pretty well equipped, just like they are in the United States. So one, twice a day for seven days. This is one of two of our dental operatories. And it's well equipped, as you can see, just like in the United States. And this chair is an 800 pound dental chair which was carried up those little narrow staircases that I showed you before. This is the second dental operatory which is equipped just like the first. Uh, we can't accommodate a dental hygienist and a dentist at the same time in a mission trip. This is the clinic pharmacy which is well stocked thanks to Brothers Brother Foundation and Global Links in Pittsburgh. Pharmacy is very well equipped. It's arranged similar to a pharmacy in the United States. My class of medicine, all the antibiotics are on one shelf. The prenatal vitamins and adult vitamins are on the second shelf along with eye medicines. And on the third shelf there are antifungal medicines and diabetic medicines hypertension medicines. Uh, these are additional supplies on this uh, side. We have tongue depressors, alcohol swabs, all the inhalation equipment, nebulizers, tubing, IV supplies, uh, and on this shelf here are all the pediatric medicines all in one place. On each trip to the clinic we try to bring down medical equipment that can be used by the local medical people as well as the mission teams. This time we brought down a urinalysis machine and we brought down a hemoglobin machine and we brought down an A1C machine, which is really important to this village because there's a lot of diabetes in the village. And on previous trips, we brought down a microscope and an EKG machine. This is the equipment room, and in here we have the autoclave and the dental vacuum pump and compressor. Down this hallway are where the missionaries are housed, and on each side are the bedrooms, and there are bathrooms for women and men. And as you can see at the end of the hall, we also use this hallway to do eye testing on the villagers. What we're trying to do is gather enough information to attract ophthalmologists to come down and, and treat the patients. And this large space in the back of the clinic is intended for a future community room for mission teams when they come down. And then we'll have a kitchen stove and a refrigerator, a microwave and so on so they can relax in their off time. Above this room, we're building the third floor, which will house the missionaries. That way the rooms that we have current use for mission teams can be used for patients and that's what the original intention for these rooms happening.